Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about a picture that I'm just about to post, which is which is, seems to be the the new mode of operation that, that on this uh, Patreon. So I'm just discussing the images that I'm posting today. So today I'm posting just about to post this image of, of Kennedy that I photographed just a few months ago. I worked with her many, many times, but uh, this time around, uh, I believe I shot uh, this in uh, December. Anyways, so this is, uh, you can see all the EXIF uh, information here. So it is ISO 1000 f2.8. It's shot with uh, existing and continuous light. Uh, the, the light, you know, over just in the shadows, so the fill light is really just whatever is existing light in, in the room. So, um, and then this beam of light uh, is created by one of the flashlights that, that I have. Um, I carry multiple flashlights with me of different intensity, different strength, and, you know, they, they have different, different features and different purposes for, for me to use them. They're not special photographic, they're actually tactical uh, flashlights. Tactical because usually they are just stronger uh, flashlights, therefore provide me with um, more light. So they're my, my continuous light source when I'm traveling. They're my continuous light, light source of choice. Because the word photography is not present in their name, they're a lot cheaper than if they were marketed to photographers. Therefore, you know, most of my flashlights are under $100. Uh, I think I have only one flashlight that is just a little over 100 like 120 130 bucks. Everything else was like 50 60 etc. Anyways, so the green hue is one of the artifacts that this particular flashlight creates, but for me it's pretty minor because as you can see, it's just very easily removed in post-processing. It literally took me... Um, just you know a few minutes in in, in lightroom and and photoshop to uh, to get rid of it um just a green slider basically uh the luckily the green tones are pretty much completely absent from the skin tone one of the reasons the, the use of green screen in tv and and photographic like productions of various sorts so you can remove green very easily without um changing the skin tones of the subject and that's one of the reasons for me this particular de fact of the of the flashlight is not bothersome at all and i use it regardless of this anyways so the slit of light how is it this is how i refer to this is the slit of light i use this technique a lot uh basically i'm just flagging the the, the light uh with uh, something uh, it's something different every time uh, sometimes i use uh, when i'm in the studio i use v flats Sometimes I use a door frame, so I just part, partly close the door and, and position, you know, the flashlight on the outside and the model on the inside, something like that. Uh, in this particular case, I'm 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 literally just holding up a piece of uh, paper with a, with a you know cut out in it. So I just made a cut in a in a piece of uh, paper, and I'm holding it and blocking. So basically, I'm blocking the light from the model with a piece of paper. The whole logic was that is the closer the piece of paper to the model. The crisper, the, the the difference between the shade and light is so that this particular border here is going to get crisper. The the closer is the piece of paper to her. It also can be uh, modified by moving the light further closer, um, meaning that the, the further the light from the model, the crisper the shadow is going to be. You know, you start bringing it closer and closer, closer. It it will it will become less uh, crisp. So, uh, so that's how it is done. This is how, I mean, the slit of light is one of the things that in my arsenal of things that I do a lot. Uh, to me, it just kind of uh, helps me to guide the viewer's uh, attention to usually the person's face. As in this case, while leaving the, the, you know, everything else is more in the shadows. So feel free to ask away any questions. Um, and I will talk to you tomorrow when I'll be discussing uh, tomorrow's image. All right. Thank you.